what I realized is that the more I connect deeper to the present moment by stepping out of my thinking mind and bringing my attention to the moment, I get closer to this universal intelligence that Eckhart Tolle always talks about where you can, I mean, I can be, let me give you an example, okay? I can be talking to somebody very, very present to the moment, looking right into their eyes, be, have a little bit of the attention while I'm talking to that person, have a little bit of my attention on my body or the sensation of my breath, which is going to take me out of my thinking. I'm going to be very, very connected to the moment. I'll be thinking almost nothing at all because I've trained myself to get out of my thinking so much that I can clear my mind in a lot of situations like this, like talking to somebody. I could be talking to somebody and then I can tap into a deeper part of myself where I know exactly what to say without even thinking about it. Okay, another example, you might be in nature, you might be looking at a tree, you might be looking at all this beautiful scenery, like the green grass, the sun, the blue sky, like beautiful nature everywhere. You're just looking at this beautiful scenery and then you can actually understand that you are in nature, looking at trees, looking at nature, without labeling it through the content of your mind, saying like, oh, that is a tree, that is grass, that, like, the labels and the experience are separate things. And then there's an intelligence within you that understands and can perceive all these things in life without necessarily thinking about it. And what I found is that the more you connect to this universal intelligence, that is actually where true creativity comes from because the opposite of universal intelligence from the way I understand it and my perspective is that when you're stuck in the content of your mind and stuck in the patterns of thinking, and when I say patterns, I mean like bad habits that are going on in your life, you know, bad habits of thinking where you're always thinking about things and you're always worried and you're always just like, it's, it's a pattern in your head where you're continually projecting yourself into the future and you're reliving the same loop of bad habits and bad thinking. The more you're stuck in your head living in this place, that is not going to be the universal intelligence that Eckhart Tolle is talking about. That's a, almost the complete opposite if you want to think about it like that. And that the more you connect to the present moment and connect deeper to what it is that you're experiencing and the beauty and the aliveness and the depth of the moment that is always happening, this is where true universal intelligence comes from. This is going to change everything in your life like the way you talk to people like you could talk to people not really be, like when i'm talking to people i don't really think about it anymore i'm just kind of there as the witnessing presence super present to the moment i always have a little bit of my attention almost always like 99 percent of the time on something that's going on in the inner part of me whether it be the sensation of my hands or the feeling of my breath or you know the feeling of my feet on the ground which sounds so simple and ridiculous to some people but I'm sure it doesn't sound that ridiculous because you're not in your head. You're right there in the moment. And when I live my life in this place, I enter an intelligence. It's almost like my body and my and whatever you want to call it, like my soul or, or something within me has a deeper intelligence. I don't even like to use the word soul. It's just like, like it could be my body. Like there's a deeper part of me that is very intelligent and knows how to make decisions that is not based on thinking, not based on thinking about things and, and you know, worrying it. And my ego, which is my unconscious thought process, is trying to figure everything out logically because logic and reasoning is a very useful tool. But then what I find in my experience is that there is a deeper intelligence where I know exactly what to do, I know how to communicate to people, I know what videos to make, I know how to talk on camera, I know how to perform. This, this is a great one for me. When I'm performing as a beatboxer, okay, I'm gonna be making a new channel soon, uh, separating this channel from the beatbox channel, I'll send that to you guys soon, put it in the description and make a video about that or something. But when I'm beatboxing, when I'm connected to my art, okay, and for you or for somebody else, this might be guitar, or like, you might be a singer, like whatever it is that you do, when you're connected to that place, of not thinking your art and your creativity will excel in ways that you could not have possibly gone to if you were thinking about all of it like when i'm beatboxing coming up with new ideas coming up with new music new new you know new ideas and creating that flow state i cannot think about this it's an intel i don't know where it comes from it's an intelligence within me that doesn't have to think about it at all i just have to be with the moment and then it kind of arises naturally almost like an intuition or a hunch and Napoleon Hill talks about this in his book called Think and Grow Rich. 
And he, he really emphasizes this a lot and it truly makes sense to me because when I connected the power of now in his version of universal intelligence and then I combine that with Napoleon Hill's perspective on how to become abundant in your life by connecting to this universal intelligence that comes from, you know, a strong desire and a strong will and then a strong, you know, purpose in life and what you want to do. But then combine, and then I combine that perspective with being extremely present to the moment. What I found is that, you know, there's so much abundance flowing into my life and I truly understand how to get this creativity within me and make the right choices and make the right decisions. And that is what I really think universal intelligence is. It's just about understanding that there is a deeper part of you that is smart and intelligent that doesn't have to think about anything. Just by being very connected to the moment, you know exactly, because all that information is already within you, deep in your subconscious mind. It's, deep, it's, a, it's always within you. Like You know exactly what to do, but you're going to be more efficient at making that action without thinking about it. You can just make the action from a place of presence kind of just be taking the action and you won't necessarily be thinking about it. And people find this hard to believe, but you're already doing this in a lot of moments in your day. Like if you're doing something like rock climbing, like you're not really thinking about it. You're just kind of rock climbing or like if you're playing the guitar, you can get so good at playing the guitar that you're not thinking about it consciously in the moment. Like, okay, now I need to, uh, you know, do this and I need to hit this string and then you, you don't need to think about every little step. You just know exactly what to do because it's already deeper within you. It's already a deeper part of you, within you. And it's already, con it's not conditioned, but it's like, I guess it is conditioning in a way, but you're training yourself to be so connected to the moment that you know exactly what to do. And this is where new things arise. That's why I didn't want to say conditioning because it's not always conditioning from the past. It's new things that come up that have never been created before. It's new ideas, new creativity. That's where true creativity comes from. And so that's what universal intelligence is from my perspective. It's about understanding once again that there is a deeper part of you that does not need to think about things. And you can think of new ideas, new content, new concepts, new like just new things coming in life that arise from a deeper part within you, whether that be ideas in your business, talking to somebody or music or art or whatever it is that you're doing, you wanna access that universal intelligence that will help you to excel in whatever it is that you are doing. So what do you think about this universal intelligence? Let me know in the comments below if you've ever experienced anything like this, or I, I wanna know your perspective on what this means for you and how this applies to your life. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this universal intelligence and if you, you know, if this applies to your life, have you experienced anything like this? Does it do anything for you? Does this make any sense to you whatsoever? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell because I post a video every single day. So have yourself a great day and see you in the next video.